Well, good morning. It's Monday and welcome to our daily prayers. There's a lovely verse in James chapter four, which says, come close to God and he will come close to you. So I invite you as we still our hearts and our minds to come more consciously into God's presence. And so we pray together. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you. Now and for ever. Amen. We're continuing in Luke's Gospel, very much now in the sort of run up to Easter during this season of Lent. And we're coming on to a new section where Jesus is arrested. This is verse 47 of chapter 22. While Jesus was still speaking, a crowd came up. And the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Jesus, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? I imagine for many of us this is one of the most poignant moments of the Gospel story, where one of Jesus' own, his very disciples, who'd known and lived with Jesus, ate and walked and heard Jesus' teaching over the last three years, is the one who betrays him. Now, although some references to Judas's betrayal were mentioned in the Last Supper, I think the disciples really had very little idea of what on earth was happening. So you might ask, well, how did Jesus know? And although we don't completely know, my sense is that Jesus was a prayerful man, and it was out of that prayer and sensitivity that he got the sense of what was in Jesus' heart, that he was going to betray him. And I think it's a reminder that actually a lot of our sensitivity, where other people are coming from and what to do and the guidance we receive, the heart of it is our life of prayer with our Heavenly Father and opening our lives and our minds to the Holy Spirit that he gives us. Because it's through the Holy Spirit that we can often discern things which we can't pick up otherwise. Now, of course, what Jesus did discover was very sad, but it was also the truth. Let's pray that we can also have a heart to discern. Let's pray together now. And Lord, teach me what it is to pray to you, to acknowledge your presence and to seek your face and to listen to what you have to say. Give me a heart to get to know you better. That as I come close to you, so you will come close to me. A space for our own prayers now. And so let's pray together as our Saviour taught us. So we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.